Hello everyone, my name is Slade, I'll be your host, and welcome to Star Wars Did You Know. Founded 300 years before the Battle of Yavin, the organization known as the Bothan Spynet was a renowned and infamous intelligence-gathering organization with the goal of helping the Bothan people against any potential enemies. These included individuals, other species, and even entire governments. Considered by many to be the most sophisticated spy network in the galaxy, SpyNet employed thousands of agents across the galaxy, all of whom fed information back to their handlers, who in turn fed it back to a central command. Agents were authorized to use a wide variety of methods, although violence was frowned upon. In addition to Bothan agents, many non-Bothans were used by the SpyNet. However, all positions of authority were filled strictly by Bothans. Lacking any allegiance beyond their own people, the Bothan SpyNet would sell, buy, and barter information to all parties, and often bragged that any information could be discovered by the SpyNet, no matter how secret or hidden it may be. The SpyNet operated a wide array of bases across many worlds in the galaxy. These bases were all referred to as opfronts, and each one was isolated from the next, so that the loss of any one opfront would not compromise the entire organization. Each opfront operated as a safe house of sorts, a base of operations for any agents operating in the area, and were almost always legitimate businesses. Rumors even persisted of individual ships, typically bulk or tramp freighters, that plied the space lanes and operated as fronts for the Bothan spy net, but these rumors were never confirmed. Through its history, the spy net would change its alliances many times, serving interests as diverse as the Galactic Republic, the Galactic Empire, the Hutt Cartels, Black Sun, the Rebel Alliance, and many more. However, despite this, Bothans strove to maintain the integrity of the SpyNet's reputation, advertising their services as the premier information-gathering force in the galaxy for any who could pay the price. During the Galactic Civil War, the SpyNet would serve the interests of both the Empire and the Alliance, although the agents of both sides were warned that the Bothan SpyNet's interests were aligned only with the Bothan people and not with any one government. SpyNet agents were critical in assisting the Alliance in the capture of the Second Death Star's plans, leading a daring assault against the Freighter Sabrosa. It was these plans which would lead the Alliance to the Second Death Star, an ultimate victory at the Battle of Endor, even if it was intended as a trap. However, the SpyNet often wore this deception on the part of the Empire as a badge of honor, pointing out though it had been given to them, it had come at a high cost, and despite this they had still delivered the information regardless of its source. Following the rise of the New Republic, the Bothan SpyNet would remain independent and very active, serving once again the interests of the Bothan people above any single government, whether it was Empire, New Republic, or an independent actor on the political stage of the galaxy. Alright everyone, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. There will be more content coming. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, please do so. Every little bit helps. Until next time, this is your host Slade, and this has been Star Wars Did You Know.